In the first tutorial, I want to talk about relative atomic mass and especially the word relative. Now, all atoms of the periodic table, their masses are compared to one element, carbon-12. Uh, it's an isotope of carbon, uh, sometimes written as element C for carbon C, uh, 6, 12. 6 is your atomic number which is simply number of protons. And 12, the bigger number on top, is your mass number for that very isotope, which is simply number of protons plus number of neutrons, the particles you will find in the nucleus, sometimes known as nucleons. So carbon-12 is an element that every other element of the periodic table is compared to. Uh, for example, if you look at hydrogen, one of isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen has three isotopes. Uh, hydrogen 1 is 12 times lighter compared to or relative to carbon 12. And if you look at magnesium, for example, magnesium has many isotopes, one of them being magnesium 12, uh, sorry, 24, is twice heavier relative or compared to carbon-12. So relative atomic masses, all elements are compared to carbon-12. Now the question is why when you look at periodic table, for example magnesium, you will see the 12 for atomic number. That doesn't change. But the relative atomic mass is 24 with decimal placement. Why not a whole number? If this was a convention, where those decimal places come? And I want to talk about that to begin stoichiometry with. So I go after two problems. In these sessions, I only solve problems. And I try to give you as much hint as I can. The first question, for example, you should be able to do as IB students is calculate relative atomic mass of an element such as copper when you are given the following natural abundances. Abundances uh, is simply how much of that element you have in nature. It's not based... Uh, on mankind, it's being created, it's in nature, so that's what you have. So copper apparently has two isotopes. The lighter one is 76% and the heavy one is 24%. In order to calculate relative atomic mass, which by the way has symbol of A subscript R, and I put copper because that's the element I'm investigating, it's simply take the abundance, multiply by the mass number plus the other abundance times mass number Divide by 100, because you do not have 50-50, so you cannot divide it by 2. So in case of copper, the abundance of the first isotope is 76. I multiply by its mass number. I add to the other isotope, which is 24% times 65. If I had more than two isotopes, I would follow the same format. Then at the end, I'm going to divide this by 100. Once you do that, you will get approximately to the relative atomic mass that is on the periodic table, 63.45. Now I want to also emphasize something. If it's relative, it has no unit. If I simply ask you what is atomic mass of copper from the periodic table, you give me the same number, 6348, but this time you give me the units of grams per mole. And also get into the habit in IB and also rest of chemistry we bring the denominator into numerator usually, so mole comes to numerator, so it's gram times mole, except the exponent will get a negative, negative 1. So atomic mass of copper is 63.48 grams per mole. Relative atomic mass of copper is the same number with no unit. So relative, since it's being compared, has no units. Another typical question is sometimes you are given two isotopes, you are also given its relative atomic mass, but the abundances are being challenged. You should agree that, for example, in case of boron, it's 10.8. You should have more of a uh, heavy boron. So this should be like 60%, 70%, or maybe 80%, and lesser of that. When you multiply them and add them, it's closer to 11. So let it be that uh, there is X percent of this, and the remainder should be the other isotope, so you don't mind if it, this becomes 100 minus x. 
So if x is 60%, the lighter one will be 40%. Now I only have one variable x if I can solve for it. So let's just plug in numbers that we know. Relative atomic mass of boron is given to me as 10.81. Should equal, then it's simply uh, abundance times mass number. So the first case is x times 11 plus the other abundance, which this time I have 100 minus x times its mass number, which is 10. I just want to see how many parentheses I have. I close the bracket, and then I'm going to divide it by 100. And if once I find x, I know the abundance of the heavy one, and I subtract from 100, I know the lighter one. So this quantity becomes, uh, now what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of equality by 100 to get rid of the denominator. So 1,081 is equal to x times 11 is 11x, plus 100 times 10 is plus 1,000, uh, minus x times 10 is minus x, minus 10x. So let's see what we have. We have 1,081. You don't mind if I subtract 1,000 from both sides of equality, so... And on the right hand side, I simply have 11x take away 10x becomes x. So 1081 minus 1000 is 81. So x is nothing but 81%. And what is the other one? 100 minus x is 19% is the lighter boron, boron 10. And you have 81% of heavy boron, boron 11. So the relative atomic mass uh, can be calculated. You have decimal places because it's an average of all isotopes of that element compared to carbon-12. So remember, carbon-12 is one element that you should remember that all atomic masses are based on. So this is sort of the king of the periodic table.